Ba dum bum bum. Hello, everybody. The Walking Dead. Mhm. Mm yep. It's pretty. It's a pretty good game. It's a pretty good game. End. Season two is coming out pretty soon. So here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to play through these games because I want to prepare myself. For oh boy, oh boy, I think we're gonna be having problems with chat. I hope not. Ooh, there's a lot of important things going on at Twitch right now, so hopefully chat isn't gonna be a problem. This is a yeah. Who's Hmm, interesting. Um, I'm gonna fix something, guys. So you can listen to my pretty voice, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty voice. Such so, so pretty, so pretty. Yes. Um. I. Th um. Hmm. There is a problem with my jet. There's a problem. With a bit of problem. I don't know why that problem exists right now. And I don't want it to exist right now. So I'm gonna make that problem disappear. Do you wanna see a magic trick? Places pencil on table. Proceeds to smash person's face onto pencil. Ta-da! And so on and so forth. Hmm. Just a second, people. It's a little of difficulties. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me put some, uh... Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't know what I'm saying. Hmm, there's no need. What? You are not here. Are you? Some problems with this chat. Oh, there, there, there. Now you're alive, apparently, now. Okay. That makes total sense. Alright. Okay. That's fine. Um, hmm. Cool. So, he's alive. Let's get back to the game. Alright guys, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of a marathon. Um, streaming The Walking Dead. Because here's, here's what I'm wanting to do in my head. What I think is going to happen. Um... I'm going to be playing through the entirety, or at least I hope, the entirety of the main story. And I'm going to be making decisions regardless of what I, the previous decisions that I made. So I'm just, it's a completely new playthrough. Obviously I know what's going to happen. But I don't remember exactly every single thing that happens that I do or don't do so. It's been a little bit, but I, I have a pretty good idea. When it comes to 400 days, I'm going to make... Okay, I'm going to try to make the same decisions that I made in my YouTube um, series. 
so that I don't deviate from that. That is basically what I'm wanting to do. So, you have been, uh, you have been briefed. Alright, without further ado, let's play this game. It's a pretty good game. Maybe a tuttle. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Oh, the decisions you make actually matter. That's a pretty good game. In association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead. Kind of like TV show, ma'am. Yeah. Episode 1. A New Day. I friggin' love the music of this game. I'm just gonna say that. The hero himself, Lee Everett. Yeah. Friggin' lovely. Friggin' awesome guy. Sup. I don't like this cop. Never did. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? Oh, that's not nah, what I was... Not what? much. That, that now, wasn't... I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the... I didn't do it. Okay. Um... And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Hmm. GG, sir. You're a cool person. Game had to realize that I was playing with a controller. Obviously. I followed your I'm playing on this little PC, bit. by the way, in case anybody's wondering. That is why I'm restarting, is because I was playing on the Xbox originally. You're from Macon, man. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hey, bro, there's like cars. Hell, the whole family by used to be new regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Yeah. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention, and you'll drive yourself crazy. Gosh dang it. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Um. Going on a six year. Yeah. You meet your wife in Athens? Don't bring that up, man. It's a sensitive topic. Jeez. You want to know how I see it? What? I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Pretty dick. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. Sir, there's a freaking... That is not normal. You have, like, the entire police force just zooming past you and you don't care. GG. GG. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big, soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. He just wailing back there. Smart, Says it wasn't him. Folk. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for then before long, he starts kicking the back of the you're seat like, like a fussy saying. baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Hmm. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show. People up and go mad when they believe their life is over. 
Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious, if I do say so. In the road! This other time... Oh, yeah. He's really good at following the law. Yeah. Let me just not pay attention to her. It's not like a zombie apocalypse is occurring or anything. No. No big deal, right? The sounds of silence. Lee, you gotta get up, Grant. You gotta get up. Oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah! Fuck. My leg. Yep. Hey, buddy. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Nah, Lee, he's... he's... he's dead. He's gone. Not much you can do. Let me see. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Kick out the window, Lee! You can't move! You can't do it! Good. Now, um... You gotta... I need to drag myself out that window. Okay. Do that. Oh, boy. That doesn't look very good, Lee. Asafa, are you awake? Hey, okay. gotta pick that gun, rig, shotgun shell, man. We're probably gonna need this. There you go. Good job. Good job. Pick up the shotgun. Looks empty. It's because you you have you have the cartridge in your It'll hand. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Yeah. Mm. Lee, Lee, come on, officer. He, he's kind of he's kind of sleeping. He's taking a little nap skis, sleeping on the jab, and not looking out at the road on the job either. You might want to might want to grab that. Yep. There you go. Unlock. Good. Shit. Don't don't worry. Don't worry, Lee. Just just pick it up. <laughs> Good job. Lee got freaked out. Alright, do it again. Let's do this. Okay. Good job. Now the other one. There you go. Good. Huh? Officer. Oh crap, you better run, Lee. You better back up, oh boy. Here he comes. What in the hell? He's a dead person. He's a freaking crawling corpse. Get away from me! Get the shotgun, Lee. Get the shotgun. You know what to do here. There you go. And you drop it. Worst time to do that, Lee. Grab it. Put it in the gun. Load it. Don't make me do this! Don't make me do this! Don't make me do it! Made me do it. What a dick. Let me do it. I blame you, officer. Asafa. It's okay, Lee. He had to, he had to be put down. If anything was for his own good. GG. The skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. That's because he's decaying. What the hell is this? He's dead, Lee. He's a walker. That's what you guys call that. In all honesty, it's a pretty good name. And there's Clementine. Help! Go get someone! Clem! There's been a shooting! Clem! Help! Why did you... Oh. Oh, boy. Lee, you better start hoofing it. Get up, Lee. Come on. Go! Oh! Not like that.
like that. Go, ah, we go. Come on, Mr. Everett. Run for your life. Oh, zombies everywhere. people it's a bad time to do some deer hunting just saying mr. Everett you have eluded or evaded the horde both whatever you want to call it hello anybody I would feel so freaked out if I was this alone just people just not anywhere I'd be really freaked out. Especially after what Lee went through. Good lord. <sighs> I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Yes, <laughs> Lee, you can't get wasted a teacup. Come on, man. Who do you think you are? No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg way it is. Help! Clementine must be good at climbing trees because there's no ladder. Anybody up there? Clem, I'm not Hello? dead. Please. Anybody in there? Plus, Clementine, plus. Bible thump. Come on. Okay. Clem, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Don't you worry about a thing. I wonder if anybody's home. I think someone could possibly Somebody! Be home. Yell if you can hear me! Okay. I wonder if anybody's home. Y you're, you're, you 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 you're done. Okay. Hello. Anybody home? I need a little help. Okay. Now, what would I actually do? I would keep talking. Hello. There's something going on. Pliss? Doesn't seem like anybody's home. No. No one's home. Open the door, Lee. Coming so in. Don't shoot, okay? I'd shoot. No, actually, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Now, here comes... The first emotional moment that I've experienced in this game. I did not see it coming. That I think that's why it was so freaking emotional for me. It wasn't the unicorn. It was the phone call. It's fake. Damn. I know, right? Freaking people in the fake, fake stuff. Gosh dang. Oh, Jesus. Okay, Lee. This, um. This is the hard part. Walk around it, please. Uh, dang it. Damn it. You were just looking at it, man. You were literally just looking at it. Now you're covered with blood. Uh, get the, the water. Oh yeah. Ten plus health points. That'd be OP water. What's that beeping? It's the answering machine. Don't worry about it. Just look through the drawers. See, I'm going to play through this game through the order of events as I usually do. So, whenever I play the Walking Dead games, I usually know there's going to be an order of events that are less important compared to others that are actually going to trigger there um, are three new messages. a storyline. So... Like, for example, I knew first time I played this game, if I went to the answering machine straight away, then 
I wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff, most likely. So, and sometimes it's true, sometimes it ain't. I just do that because I just I just make an order of events in my head. You can say overthink it all you want, but uh, whatever. Marshals, that's a Savannah area code. It is. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. And the question is, Lee, where's the babysitter? She's dead. Or is she? You must consider these things. This place has been ransacked. Yeah, I know just that. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. No, just, Lee, just, you gotta make sure, okay? Jeez. I will get to you in due course, answering machine. Just let me, just let me just look through all of everything. Nothing in the microwave, no sandwiches, no peanut butter and jellies. Alright, cool. No peanut butter and jellies. Spoilers! What's that beep? Sorry, Zeke. How you doing, Zeke? Welcome back. I'm sorry. I didn't think you were there. But now I know. I won't spoil the game for you, okay? So you can experience it on your own. Um, because that's one thing I hate is spoilers. Furniture overturned. But like I said, I did play this game before. Jesus. I'm just doing the marathons and it's going to replay through it because it's a PC version. And I want to get everything right for season two. How, how you doing, Zeke? Um, okay. Now, for the very first emotional moment in The Walking Dead for me. There are three new messages. This was it. Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 By the way, I'm connecting PM. and disconnecting from hey, my chat. Sandra, this is Diana. I think some We're chat is kind of bored. Uh, oh, yeah. Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so oh, we're staying Oh, thanks, Zeke. I'm glad you're joining me thanks on this so adventure. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting When the music leave, started playing, I started getting so emotional Atlanta. for this. Please, I was just like, please, what? just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. I'm, I'm still getting goosebumps. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Ah, my feels. It still gets to me after, like, huh? the fifth, fourth time playing this game. Hello? You need to be quiet. I'm quiet, Clem. I'm quiet. Um Who is this? Yeah. I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No. I'm not. You heightened sense of danger. Yeah. Um where are your parents? Where going? are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Clementine! Can see I can see you through the window. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's the baby setup. They so get off me, baby setup. You ain't got nothing to me, yeah. Scrub. Oh, gosh, they did leave. That's the second time. What, the, the, the baby's still... Kick her in the face. Yeah, kick her in the face. Run, Lee. Okay, back. Punch her in the face. Clem? Man? I'm dying. I could use that hammer right now. The band hammer. <laughs> from this earth. Yeah. Uh, 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 brutal 
moment you are dead soon. Stay dead. I can't believe you're still alive, but you're dead now. One for the GG. Strictly plant <laughs> what's on <laughs> Man, she was so into me. She wanted to kill me. <laughs> Hi there. She wanted to eat me up. Did you kill it? Clem, please don't look at this. I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Yep. Two nights ago? Right on. Yeah. You got it, Clem. That's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I'm so freaking sad right I now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Let's be smart about this before it gets we dark. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Nope, not even close. Let's go. Stay close to me. She's just sweating blood out of her skull. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. I didn't kill her, Clementine. She sweats blood. It's this new thing these babysitters do, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That is a terrible excuse to tell a child. Oh man, this is not good. Now remember this part coming up. I lied, and I ooh, ooh, hated myself. This is the this game is good at that. It makes you hate yourself if you make the wrong decision. Okay, Clem, look, there's people over there. At first, I thought they were suspicious. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Okay. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I think the babysitter has brain damage. I won't I leave, won't you leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe. Yeah, it's night close. bot. Okay. Don't mess with That's night bot. <laughs> Yeah, careful with the cap, Zeke. Nightbot will slap it. Saying. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. GG, Nightbot. GG. <laughs> yeah, I got that message. Uh, chat is... We help. need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over yeah, the Yeah, I got the place. message. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood. Chat since is downtown really dirty right 15 now. 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. The cutest kid you'll you ever see in your life like is Clementine. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It's not my it daughter, should be dude. safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Yes. Let's get going. Two Staying plus two too equals four, mistake. sir. Her parents... What do you want to do? ...are most likely dead. I... But one thing's for sure is they're not here. The monster's coming. We gotta go. You have... You don't have much time, Clementine. Let's go. You gotta make your decision right now. Okay, let's push it. I love how Chet isn't doing anything. He's just watching. Come on, Clem. Chet, you should be helping. For just some guy, it seems like you've saved a bunch of lives today. Yeah. At least three. That move, though. Okay, Clem. Her 
Herschel's farm. We have arrived. Herschel, hey, Sean, another beloved I'm character run off from the home. Walking Dead series. Our mom is going to be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. It's nice meeting you, Chet. Bye. Have fun. Doing what, whatever you do. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Yep. Um, we just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. Friggin' chat. Welcome to stay here, just but just for the night. Himself. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He's well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. For some reason, I always have trouble with this part. Let's have a look. Alright. Yeah. Let's have a look. This is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel! How'd this happen? Uh, car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Out of Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? A police officer. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. Come on, chat. I didn't Good get boy. your name, darling. Clem yeah, sorry if I don't see your Clementine. messages. It, it, Can't imagine chat what you've been through, Clementine. Forked right now. Um, looking sorry. after until we uh, find our parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen big around time. here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. It's pretty bad. Mango, dead, crawling, dead people walking. Teenage girl with her guts spilled out on the floor stood up from the dead and tried to bite me. There you go. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn. I love how he's just shaking morning. it off. We like gotta he's like, do it. I don't really. That doesn't sound. That I sounds normal to me. Said, okay. Well, I'm all done here. He, like he's remaining start completely to feel better calm. tomorrow. Thanks. Someone told me that. I'd be like, oh. It gets hot or the swelling. Yeah. Go Let's get down, out of here. You're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. LOL, right? We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Okay. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. Apparently, I'm reconnected to chat for now. But who knows how long that'll last. It smells like... Manure. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Yep. Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. 
Oh, okay. The freaking music in this game does not help my feels. Seriously. I love you, baby. The soundtrack is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> baby, come back! You can blame it all on the walkers. Don't have bad dreams. Oh, bad timing. Hey, get up. Hi. <sighs> oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. It's I'm Kenny. Dad, feels to dad no like this when he, a trap when he turn yeah. <laughs> Mustache We better guy. get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. Call we call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? He's a quacking duck for sure. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate no. the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Um. Sure. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan then. Dang it, honey. Duck, not this is I Lee. Pick, but whatever and it works. Uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. 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 That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do so out there, so the cute. faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? That's cool. a bad idea. Duck Don't. and I will hop to it. I would never let that kid get on a tractor. Especially if there was I can keys keep an it. eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. That kid needs to lay off the Mountain Dew. All right. Katya. Hey there, girls. How uh, what do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, like cool. Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Um, how was the city? <laughs> Actually, this is a conversation going around. <laughs> oh, tractor. Okay. <laughs> how did you Make it and get bake. into the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and. We just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say. You don't anymore. have to relive the past. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Um. This Thank could you. all be providence, you know. Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. Um... You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, <laughs> yeah. Easy. So, you're Gosh, good? Dang it, Clementine. Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You learned Clementine is a first grader. Yeah, yeah, I know I did. But, okay. Thanks for telling me. When I first played this, I played it with uh, minimal hints and stuff. And now I just figured, why not just play it standard? Because why not? What the? All right, Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Um, you need any help? Need any help? 
No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. Um... How's your son doing? Good, I think. kachi has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But... We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. This guy needs practice. Yeah. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. Yes. I'm a commercial fisherman, so. catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Oh man, the, the number one thing to do in a zombie apocalypse is to get to an island, but also have supplies. Supplies, boat, slash island, salvation. <sighs> Zombies can't swim. I mean, that's, I mean, walkers just can't swim. It's just not, it's two plus two, man. You know, it's mathematics all up in here. Anyways. Awkward wave time. Duck, you need to chill. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! Yay! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! I'm gonna look... look at... look at Sean. Sean's still working on that fence. Uh, I... I know that. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that sure speed things up. No problem, Sean. I can do that. Watch me. I'm like... I'm like... Hercules. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. There goes chat. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. No, oh, man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. You know, in the zombie apocalypse, you can't hesitate with things sometimes. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Oh, Couldn't good morning. I saw a little boy get shot. <laughs> anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. That is the worst... That is the worst conversation to have in the morning. Morning, neighbor. Morning. I just saw a boy get shot in the face. You know, the huge. That's a one-way track to depression. <laughs> Herschel, hi. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh... I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. 
Do you agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? Yep. You just stumbled up on her? Um... Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. First major decision in the Go! Walking Dead. I'll get my gun! Sean. Come on, Lee. Please. I made the first mistake of trying to save the first time. Kenny, help Lee! I figured it made sense. And then Kenny's gotta be a dick. Kenny! Come on. Push it, Lee. Lee, please. Clementine, look away. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It almost, it almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. I. Gosh dang it. Gosh freaking dang it. Shit, let him die. Silence. You don't need to say anything. You tried. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Lee, you're a, I mean, Kenny, you're a freaking dick. I didn't realize this the first time I played this game. You are genuinely just... You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Yeah, you make bad decisions. Yeah, he seriously could have put his kid down and just freaking... Helped. He could have. He could have done that. But he didn't. Yeah, he should have let Lee stay, but, you know. He had to get to Macon. Well, this is as far Nadia. as we're going. Then it's far enough. Hello, Nadia. What is up, sir? Glad you're here to join me on this uh, marathon. Of uh, The Walking Dead Season 1 and Walking Dead 400 Days. What is up? I have grown wiser from my decisions of playing this game Look. earlier. Previously. 
Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! Yeah, Kenny could have done more. He really could have. We're trapped! <laughs> 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 It's Glenn! Glenn, you're in the Walking Dead TV show, I know you probably are. <laughs> that was the perfect scene to join in, by the way, Nadia. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. And just a warning, if I, I don't see, see any of your messages sometimes, no it's because chat is bored. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Worse, they could have only wanted right lunch. Door. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. Sometimes lunch is a little what too much it? to ask for. <laughs> I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Um, I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. Calm down, Clem. They've got, got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. No, he's not bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. You're a freaking but dick. Right now, Dude. we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? Clem. There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. What are you doing, Lee? Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. Well, then let her and find it, you does, dick. does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is it's bitten. not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! Don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Yeah, Lee. Clem! <laughs> oh, <my God>. Jesus! <laughs> <Clementine>. <laughs> oh. Lee, get up! You don't have time for this. Lee! Get up! Nice shot. 
man. <sighs> You okay? Just great, thanks. I know, you could just wait to see if he was bitten. He doesn't turn that quickly. Uh, and you would notice that he was turning. Everybody down. Stay quiet. Hindsight would probably wasn't the best idea to shoot the gun. I gotta get in. Shut up. Paranoid douche. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, I have no sympathy uh, for you right now. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Um... There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and Literal look for anything useful. <laughs> we could be in here a while. Gosh dang it. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And Doug. I'm Carly. Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug it's when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those Poetic pills. justice. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I think... I think we can all take something away from this, uh... Follow Wheaton's Law. Don't be a dick. That's all I'm saying. Let's read this newspaper. Central High Tech State. Paper's a week old. Yep. Feels like years. A week in the zombie apocalypse is probably years to everybody else. Alright. Rule number one in The Walking Dead. Explore your environment completely. And you will reap the benefits of what you find in the environment. There's my brother. Greeting cards. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. Yeah, they never have those. They always seem to run out. They're, they're a hot, hot ticket. You know what I mean? I need to get one of those next time I go down to the store. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Yeah. Gosh dang people. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Yeah, m currencies. Currency's not going to be much of a factor anymore. It's going to be bartering from now on. Get all the candy bars. Hershey's chocolates. No, not yet. Get that one. So I got three candy bars. As uh, I give one to Duck, I ain't gonna give one to him. I can give one to Lily, I suppose. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. No one cares. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad. That didn't help. That was his fault. Shut up. Just dang it. Um. What's wrong with him? 
He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Um, he's got a temper. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. See, yeah, it, he doesn't I, mean it. It's just that... BS! Yeah? Come on, Lily. Yeah, he, he, you know, he does mean it. He's actually a pretty cool guy. We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. You just mentioned the word temper and he just can't gets fired up. Temper like that. Hell, but it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. He's Where's may not be mom? the main reason, but he's Savannah, a big reason. I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. Yeah, she's. I warrior. think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Yeah, and I'm lucky to have her too. She's a pretty awesome kid. What do I? Uh, you're from here. You're from here. I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot. Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Um... Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dowd hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. You don't, you... What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead <sighs> are up deep. walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Yeah, so we can flip out some more. I'm not gonna give him no cane bar. Screw him. He's, he can go take a hike. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. Duck. Hey, Lee. Hi. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. I did. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Cat Honestly, I would be too in your position. Support. Thank you, Lee. No problem. That'll be five dollars. How's Duck doing? Are you guys all right? What's the plan? Um, yeah. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. I love how Duck just is completely quiet now, and he's usually really boisterous. Um, how's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky redundant. as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Just ask that. But whatever. Um. Well, the family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl. She doesn't kid. know that she spent days dead. on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Koch is hitting the nail right in the head. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? Yes. That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? No point. They, uh, own this place. Wait, I don't remember they, uh, telling them that last time. pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Kenny, I'm gonna level with you here. Don't be a dick. Please. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. Should I rub it in his face? Uh, no. It happens. I wouldn't do yes, that. Yes, but I can't stop seeing him in my head. 
Yeah, that's right. Why the guy has heart? <laughs> <Not that boy. laughs> we could have saved him together. You didn't Come on, don't tell me you, you would be in a rush if, if, on, if you were in the same position. In moment, I don't think you would be rushing to get that guy. Come on. <laughs> choice. I guess. Uh, no. Trying to Fine. let it go. I didn't really want to console him. Because he needs to he needs to feel the guilt. He let that kid die. I didn't want to tell him that because I would not actually tell him that in real life. I wouldn't be that harsh. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, I know. Here, it's have not a much, candy bar. Here for the boar. Oh, thanks. Let's Lee. be honest here now. He appreciates it. Come on. That's sweet, Lee. Alright. Um That's that's fine. Do I have any I thought there was candy bars around here. I'm gonna talk to them. Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? No. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Not uh, yet. Huh. Not yet. Not now. Uh, not right now. Alright, let me know if you want to. Okay. Bye. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Don't fool with a reporter. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Some say you owe me biatch. GG, Nadia, GG. Oh, man. What are you working on? How you handle yourself? Um, y yeah. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. Here's a stupid medicine, Yomi My dick. news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. He's not that dorky. She was an asshole, on. but, you know. Yeah. You gotta give the man a chance. He's not that dorky. Let's, I mean, Doug's a pretty cool guy. I mean... Mostly. <laughs> the guy saved you, um... Yeah. That guy saved you. Yeah, can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. Walkers. They were pulling our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. Um, sometimes. In that parents' basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. What are you thinking, Carly? Seriously, what is in your mind right now? Eesh. Uh, I don't know if I want to know. How did you end up here? Yeah. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds hard worth hit. it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. This is by far one of the dumbest parts in the game. <laughs> okay, put the radio over. This is literally what I did the first time. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean yeah. No. I can try to find some. Need I to. just can't Thanks. even. I wouldn't even I don't, really know what to look for. I don't even. I just. Oh, I don't even. I can't even begin to even just. Ah. Oh, wow. The biggest fail fish. The biggest. When I first played that game, I could not believe how dumb she sounded that time. Oh my gosh. Yeah. She doesn't even know what basic technology is. Batteries? What? Are those... I didn't pass math. I don't know what those are. <laughs> I don't even know. What's 2 plus 5? 20,000. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. What are batteries? <laughs> Who needs batteries? <laughs> oh man. What do you say? Oh, cute in parents' basement kind of way. <laughs> and tech is just nope. <laughs> Gosh dang it. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Clementine. Ah, you're so freaking cute. Hey there. Hi. 
Hi. Um. Yeah. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I just Stick, gave. Huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I, I know, Clem. Uh, I'll see if I can find something else for you. Gave you a candy bar, though. Clementine, I just gave you a candy bar. Why? Um. So, um. Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh. I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Yep. That was a good answer. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. Well... You're doing a good job. Well, sit tight. Why? Well, I, I, I okay. I, I don't know why you're asking me, Clem. You have the walkie-talkie. Why can't I give her another candy bar? I still have a candy bar. It's not... Whoa, there's a battery. That's one battery. Um... Lee. More batteries, please. Please. I don't see any thing. The pills are in there. The pills are in there. Pills here. There's no getting in there from out here. Uh, I... That grate does its job. Okay. Good good observation skills. Hey, Carly, I found a battery. Here. Here's the battery. Wait. Do I want to keep this battery? Hmm. I don't remember. Um Candy bar. I'll give her a candy bar. Screw it. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. You sound like you... Thanks. You just made her sound like a plant, Lee. She's not a... Not, this ain't a garden. I mean, I guess it's a garden of life, but... Come on. Um, give her the battery. This battery should fit the radio. Great. Thanks. Why didn't Kappa work? Because BlizzCon. That's all I gotta say. For all those people watching this on YouTube, at the time of me streaming this, BlizzCon is happening on Twitch. So I'm assuming that is why chat is just like, uh, walkified. Yeah. Chat's, uh, Twitch, uh, I'm not the only one dealing with walkers here. I think chat has basically become a walker. It does things when it decides to do them. Wait, did I just... Wait. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. I don't remember... I don't think I've ever gotten all the batteries for that radio. Oh, well. Live inside. Well, they were. <laughs> when in doubt, Marathi Kappa. <laughs> oh, man. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Of all the emotes, that's the one that works. <laughs> the most basic emote in Twitch history, the Kappa, doesn't work, but Marathi's does. That... GG Twitch. GG. Uh, makes sense. <laughs> If you don't think about it. There's a photo over there. You know what that photo is of, Lee. Man, playing this game so many times, I still just feel bad. You just can't escape that feeling. The soundtrack, though. Why did you do that, Lee? Find anything? a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Be Frankly, time. that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? 
No. Wait, no, no I lied. First oh. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't be wrong on wow. this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. I told Kenny and Katja and Duck. Wait a minute. I, there wasn't an option to say that I did. At least I didn't see one, and my brain is just like. That is the perfect option. And then afterwards, like, you done goofed. Gosh dang it. Ah, Alright. Um... Yeah. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. You're right. When you're right, you're right, Carly. Good thing I'm not a douche who would be like, Yeah, I'm first sign of trouble. I'm just gonna have you die. I'm not that kind of person. So much nostalgia. It was yellow. Yeah, I just... I derped. Derp derp What's derp. that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Gosh dang it, Clem. I just can't express how freaking cute you are. Seriously. You're just so freaking cute. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? <laughs> sure. <laughs> how, do you, how do you say no to that face? How Here we go. It? Watch your fingers in the drawers. Why did I know? <laughs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. That works. It's not good. I click. I don't fast. know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, that face. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Um... What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Sure. Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Yes, dang it. Clem, don't do it like that. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Um. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Let's get this done. I don't think you would blatantly tell a kid that you killed someone. I, at least I wouldn't. That's just too much. Too much too quick. Gosh dang it, Clem. I told you not to do it like Are that. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Heck yeah, it's bleeding. I'll find you a bandage. Alright. Alright. Um, open the drawer. There's a remote. Take the remote. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Good. That's what I figured. First aid kit. Yep, you need a 
Lee? Lee? Yeah? What? what if my parents come home and I'm not there? Oh, gosh dang it, let's not do this. Let's not do this. <sighs> Lee? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. White well, lights. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? I'm lying for her own good. I don't want to tell her or anything about her parents because there's nothing but heartbreak. Her parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Fines bandage. <laughs> Good order of events right there, isn't it? Uh, I can't open the door to the pharmacy yet. Let me... Let's have a look at that finger. Oh. Yes. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Alright. Let's get this cut covered up. Patch yes, up. please. Good deal. Gosh dang it, Clem. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah. That's what I, I do. did. Can you do that more? Yes. Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. Yes. I'm gonna try. Good. Clem, I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Alright? Let's just get that out of the way. As long as I'm kicking, nothing's happened to you. How's your finger, by the way? How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Good deal. No problem. Free to charge. Um, have you heard from Glenn? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Okay. Good. Good talk. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Alright. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Yep. Um... The remote don't work there. Um... Are you ready to go, Clint? Let's go. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Oh, boy. No. He wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Gosh dang it, Clem, you put me in that position. The last cookie's in the shop. No, don't leave the cookies, not yet. The cookies are a lie. They're infected with the... Oh, actually, never mind. <laughs> it wouldn't matter. Eat the cookies, screw it. <laughs> Okay, um, I have batteries, I have batteries, I have batteries. Oh, wait. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, what? and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone, or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I know exactly. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast All as I can. All the puns. That's what you want to do. Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. 
Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. See, I don't know what happens if I use the remote to turn on the radio and then I go outside. I've never... I've never thought about that. I suppose I'm gonna find out. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, these are no good. Never mind. Don't work. I don't know if there's another battery. I'm pretty sure there is. I just don't know where to find it. Oh, never mind. Found it. Time to get some rest, hon. <laughs> How can I with those things out there? 100% completion. You have found every single thing in this freaking environment. Well, except for those, of course. I don't remember them very well. It's all melted now. It's all melted now. All right, now. It works out. <laughs> yeah, Twitch is uh, GG. GG right now. Killing Flare. This is pretty good background. This is this would make pretty good background noise. And here's another one. Me Should be able to get it game. to work now. Yeah, we can get it to work now. You don't know how to get it to work, do you? No, I don't think you do. Hey, Carly. Um. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Carly, go ahead. It's not. Do you not know how to work a radio? And you're a journalist. You are smart. Watch this. Make it work with magic. The magic of Macy's. Boop. Hmm, nothing. Wait, what? Volume. There. Now it's working. Try the power. Hmm, nothing. Wait, did I put the batteries in? Put that up. Okay. Now let's try again. Nothing. What the crap? Are the batteries in the right way? There we go. <laughs> okay, close the doors. Boop. Turn it over. The volume's on. Power. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full. Uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones. God bless you all. Sorry, Carly. Hey there. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Well, der. <laughs> uh, oh! All right, then. We don't need to talk about it. No! Thanks. There's nothing I can do now, anyway. I never even. No, I. I don't. I. Uh, I did, I've never played- I never did that before, so I didn't know what was gonna happen. I wasn't paying attention. This game, I need to pay attention to it. Gosh dang it. Alright, Doug. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? <sighs> Alright. Uh, let's go Let's have a look around. Okay. We're gonna solve this case. Alrighty. Jesus. Oh wait, we should probably go help Glenn before we do this stuff. Like and if one gets you, they eat you, and whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? 
I think it might be more than a couple days before all this. The reanimation gets out. of the dead. Yeah, I think so. Brought to you by science. We better keep it down out of here. And Red Bull. Okay, let's, let's get back, back in. We're not doing. Okay. Let's not do this right now because we kind of gotta go save someone, and then we'll be our B. Because I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen if I do that first. Odds are, I'm probably gonna screw someone over. All right, let's get out of here. Nice smile. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Going out through the back. That was close. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. Hello, Glenn. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! That wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Don't be heartless, Carly. Jeez. <laughs> okay, we're surveying the landscape. Zombie right there, zombie over there. There's one right there. There are walkers. I got a couple. Stop calling them zombies. Unacceptable. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's more than that. So we have to kill every lol, lol. one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Alright. Peek up that way. Get down. Whoa. Okay. Let's go this way first. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Good, good thinking. Their growling attracts the others. No, no. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Oh man, I don't remember what to do here. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. I know it drew some attention. I was playing through all my options, man. Calm down. I know that was stupid. Um... Right. Carly? How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Oh, now I remember. Let's go this way. Peekaboo! <laughs> We're not playing hide and seek, okay? Jeez. There we go. Good luck smothering them to death. 
That's not really what I have in mind. Gosh dang it, Carly. Think outside the box. And I don't mean Taco Bell. Okay, we got an idea here, alright? Fun fact, kids, pillows make good silencers. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. <laughs> yeah. True walking, dead fashion. Uh, let's open the door. Alright. Um, it's in here. Everything good, everything good, everything good. They really want to get into that room. They really want to get into that room. Yeah, I know. But you don't have to. Whatever. You should hold on to that. It could come in handy. It could. We're gonna let this guy have it, alright, Glenn? Do it. Oh. Ugh, that was awesome! The spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Good. <laughs> Don't worry, we're coming, girl. We're coming, run our way. Pick up the thing. Good. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. All right, we're good to go here. Let's go back. Salad, anybody? It's good stuff. Hello, sir. Good night. There goes my dude. Where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? What is your. Don't be a buzzkill. Two more. That should help. All right, Lee. Let's go take him out, firefighter style. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. He said lag. <laughs> GG. All right, Lee. You got a you got a freaking axe. These walkers ain't nothing. Bip -a dip, herp -a derp. Lee, let her have it. Let him have it, Lee. Rad. Totally radical, bro. Hello? Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. 
If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. I just... You uh, might want to break through that board first. I know, man. I'm just... Jeez. Good. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Now it's not the time, Glenn. Come with us, and we'll find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Oh, crap. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, take it easy. You just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! <sighs> I've never made that decision before. Last time I gave her the gun. But... <laughs> Let's get out of here. I was hoping that one would let me do it for her. I mean, Shit! Here they come! Apparently, that's not. Get in! Everyone, all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. And I know exactly how to do it. All right, let's go. No more messing around. Doug, you and me, buddy. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes. Let's have a look around. Okay. <laughs> Sweating from the head. <laughs> oh, man. No big deal, Clementine. You're still alive, okay? Um... It's a combination lock. Yeah. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Calm your face, bro. Jeez. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. And they weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Yeah, are you okay? I mention them? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of you? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. So, right. Okay. Um. 
There's a brick. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Um, but, 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 but. I can't reach that brick. Yeah, you can. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. I'm just mostly going through each piece of dialogue, you know, because it feels it feels better if I do it that way. I just like covering all my bases. Um. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Cool. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hair than this. Oh shit! What? Do you know that guy? Kind of. He has a familiar face. Uh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. And they start rotting and get all chewed up and. Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore, and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. I can prove it. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. I have completed this game before, hey, Ryan, but there is people in the chat who have not, so try not to spoil it for them. But I have. Multiple times. Just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. There is a way to distract them. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. By the way, hey, Ryan. Hey, there's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AB. Let's try. Okay, memorizing all the codes? <sighs> it's a bit... Well it's... fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. It's a Who's bit sad already hasn't. Dorky. <laughs> Nerdy. That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. We can use this. I can't reach that brick. Uh, screw it. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Here. Carefully. Got an idea. Can't reach that brick. Yeah. Seriously. Right, you did it. Now let's go. Now's the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? You can do it faster than that, Lee. Come on. If you were there, you would have died for them. 
So, yeah. We're gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Just dang it, Doug. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But no one you are to take care of him throughout it. Thanks, Ryan. Oh, this is the worst thing you have to do. That sucks? No. But we did it. It's all that matters. The only ones I played were the ones from Telltale. I wouldn't dare waste my time on the other one. Gosh dang. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's Bloody get Bloody router. Huh. What'd you do, Naughty? You restart your router? Baba dip. Um, can I talk to you for a second? No, I can't. Okay. Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Get to looking. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing all the episodes and the DLC. All of them. All the episodes and all the DLC. That's what the marathon's for. I'm preparing for season two because I played this on the Xbox originally, but I got it for the PC, which is what I'm playing on right now. So I'm just going through and making all the decisions that I made in preparation for season two when that drops. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round right back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Away from the windows. The games aren't that long. I mean, hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. Oh crap! <laughs> I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. <laughs> Honey, are you sure? Yes. Oh, oh, shit! Oh. Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handle? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Come on, Clem. Clementine, uh, did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The window is screwed. Go! 
You saved Doug on your game, yeah, yeah. There's lunch. No, they they have no. They're not getting lunch. It's not happening. No lunch for you. No brains for you. So many walkers. Sounds to me like they're having a good day. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. We still got a ways to go. Glenn. Sorry about your girlfriend. Stay safe, Glenn. 